big conversation that hopefully a lot of the political figures are paying attention to this year as we head into the presidential election. And that is the importance of the Hispanic Latino vote on this election. Um, so first I just want to start by asking you, you talk a lot about what political figures and maybe Americans at large misunderstand about the Latino community as voters. Can you explain what you mean by that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the first things, of course, is that Hispanics, Latinos, some people say Latinx, um, we're talking about the same community. We are now the, the, the nation's second largest voting age population. Um, so that is what makes it so interesting that even though we're the second largest voting age population, there's still a lot of mistaken assumptions about this electorate. Um, one of them, of course, is people are coming to understand that the Hispanic community is diverse, right? We have folks who have been in this country since before the birth of the United States, other folks who are first generation Americans and other folks who are legal permanent residents or immigrants yet to be Americans. So, and then from the folks who have hailed from other parts, like frankly, all Americans, right? Uh, at different points in their histories, those roots can be, or the roots of their families can be in a variety of different countries. So yes, we are very diverse. The thing that is very interesting is that also we share with a lot of our fellow Americans that even though we are very diverse, there is a great deal of affinity in the issue priorities and the solutions perspectives that Hispanic voters have, whether they live in Florida or in Texas or in California or North or South. Um, and that is true across different age groups. And I say that because sometimes when people say we're very diverse, what's assumed in that is that we don't have the same views. But again, we actually agree on a lot of the top concerns and also on a lot of the solutions we want to see. Okay, good. You set me up perfectly for what I wanted to get to the bottom of. What are the big issues that you think really were gonna drive Latino voters to the voting booth this year? What are those issues that, that there is at least some consensus on that really resonate with this community? So Unidos US recently released what is the largest poll of Hispanic voters this cycle, uh, because we wanted to make sure that we are speaking about what those priorities are not only from our own experience, but also from the data and the voices of voters themselves. And what we've learned or reconfirm is that out of the top five priorities, four of those have to do with pocketbook issues. This has been pretty cons consistent for Latino voters. Look, we are one of the, com the American communities with the largest work uh, work workforce participation rates but we still like many of our fellow americans see ourselves in a lot of jobs that don't pay enough even if you're doing everything right so things like wages the cost of health care the cost of housing and just the overall cost of living are four of the top five concerns for latinos right so if it's cost Again, that all relates to the, the, your job is how you bring in money and then you have all these things. Um, but those are the priorities. The, uh, the fifth priority in that, in those top five is gun violence. And we saw that become a priority for the first time going into the 22 election and it has stayed among the top five. But the economy and jobs has been a top priority for Hispanic voters, I would say, for the last 30 years or so. Um, 